Hello, friends. Uh, we're back for uh, for Cinephile Saturday. It's been a little it's been a little bit. The holidays uh, set us back, but we're back talking about the Alien franchise. And today we'll be discussing Alien Three, both the theatrical cut and the assembly cut. And we'll be spoiling everything. So if you haven't seen the thirty year old movie, we're about to talk about just a heads up. So have some friends say, uh, Joshua, you start us off with an introduction. <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Joshua, and I'm a member of the Page Chewing Forums, and I'm here to talk about aliens, finally. Nice. Glad you make it. And uh, Susanna? Hello, uh, my name is Susanna Mishinadiu. I am a writer and sometimes YouTuber at Den of the Weird. Glad you both could make it. I'm getting my coffee and uh, <laughs> ready to talk about this. I just watched it again last night. So I guess the... The biggest, the biggest issue that everyone had with this one, I think, is that Kix and um, Newt are killed off screen, and they are nowhere to be found other than dead bodies and um, mangled corpses. And so, what did you both think about that? Whether it's the initial, whether it was initially released or now, Susanna. Uh, th that wasn't my biggest issue. My biggest issue is hmm. how the hell did the egg got there, or eggs, because yep. anyway, um, that, 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 that was my biggest issue. issue. Hmm. Yeah, that, that they're killed off screen. For me, it's, it's more about the suspense. Uh, I, I always thought uh, that Alien 3 was trying to go back uh, because it's, I think it's a third uh, director, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, they, they yeah went through a few. I see here. Um, uh, it tried to go back to the first one, like uh, make uh, more and more uh, atmosphere and, and like, oh, stuff is happening and what's going to happen next and, uh, and, and less of the gore, especially in the theatrical uh, cut, except for the ending, of course, uh, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think from what I've looked, from what I've seen is that Sigourney Weaver was pushing for a, a no weapons kind of thing to get away from the Marines and the combat and the the action more to or like a alien like an alien type of um, uh, feel to it. But yeah, the the eggs I, I never understood because we so I'm guessing that they'll explain it that the Queen left the eggs there before it came out at the end of Aliens, but there's more than one. Yeah. And when you see the the system, the egg laying system in Aliens, it's a it's like a spectacle. You see it; and it's this big system, and it just to, for it just to kind of pop out two eggs pretty quickly. It's I don't know; it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I think Susanna is going to be the one that will explain everything. Oh no, I I have no explanation. I I've, I've read a few fan theories and. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have explanation at mm. the same way that I don't have explanation why the company didn't go and check the, the ship again in the 57 years that Ripley was in space, if the beacon was still uh, active, etc. Those little plot holes, uh, they don't bother me that much. Mm. You know, the story is the story and... I don't think they are that important. It's it's fun to nitpick because they're there. You, you can't just pretend. Uh, but it, you know, it didn't detract from my enjoyment of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, and I, I was glad that um, it was different once again. That we didn't have to continue the relationship um, with her and Newt, or uh, even with yeah. Um, yeah, it, it was cost, almost yeah. like a, a fresh start. Again. Yeah, mm. uh, that the queen left some eggs on the on the ship uh, is indeed uh, the, the the bait of the day uh, for for uh, how did the eggs get there? Uh, but for me, the the bigger issue was uh, in the theatrical cut the dog, like, aha! Uh -huh. So the the dog got the the uh, face hugger. Uh, on the on the face, uh, but we didn't see an egg. Like like there was there was something missing, uh, and it is better explained in the the longer version with the the cow, 
that they mm. they use the cows to to get the spacecraft out and they they stow them together in a, in a room and and it happens there and and uh, it, it bursts out of the cow so that was a lot better for me <laughs> that's the that's the biggest issue i had the eggs was one but then dog or cow <laughs> oh really uh, i'm so my 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 opinion that is i much prefer the director cut overall except mm. the beginning and the ending those i prefer mm. from the theatrical version so i, I do the prefer the is, dog is version better. and the uh -huh. ending yeah. it's um, so much better than, yeah than yeah. the director's cut the theatrical but, but cut i do is, prefer is... the dog and uh, okay. and whenever mm. i watch the the director's cut there's one bit must have been a mistake again where one of the guys is calling out to, to spike and uh, there's no spike in the director's gun and i was like i can't believe yeah. you left this here um, yeah. so i i, I kind of prefer spike the the whole thing with the cow um uh, i don't think it was that impactful it took too long and you you kind of course you, you knew what was going on because if you were familiar with alien you know what's going on yeah. but the dog at the time, really, really got to me because I love dogs and I was really sad. And I don't know it kind of made more sense. <laughs> I was very young again when I watched it, so yeah. Mm. I'm kind of surprised they went the with the cinema. dog because they piss off all the dog people. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch it in the cinema, but I was, I think, uh, seven or eight. So yeah, I remember just walking out of that theater just thinking what just happened <laughs> what, <laughs> what is going on yeah 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 but the yeah so what did you both think of nude and hicks uh, that we don't see them at all i mean or would you prefer to see them a little bit or were you okay with them being killed completely off screen and they make no appearances i think i said i, w I was okay with it uh you're okay uh, yeah yeah i i was I'm... okay with it as well hmm. yeah I wasn't a fan of that for a long time, but I think now rewatching, I, I'm okay with it. Like it, it yeah, so, it's fine. Like, if if you put it like that, uh, as as a kid, I was like, "Where's the action coming from?" Aliens. There there wasn't enough going on in this movie. This is so now I I like it because of the suspense and and I appreciate it more than I was younger. But when I was younger, I was like. Come on, more gore, more more people need to die here, and and nothing really happened that much that often. <laughs> and I yeah. I know I have another issue as well, but that's uh, that's I think it's going to be mentioned the xenomorph. I love that they used in the first two movies the the whole suit, and in the third movie they uh, switch between the suit. And 3D and the 3D was so terrible that I instantly disconnected. <laughs> like, wh what is walking this way? What is this? Personal nitpicks, yeah. I know. Yeah, it wasn't the best in terms of uh, special effects. Alien was all mm. aliens, and even alien, but alien specifically was a lot more convincing. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it, it, we were expecting something more. Uh, and yeah, it, it was was a bit disappointing. So distracting too when you see it in the suit, and then you see it CGI, really bad yeah. CGI on like the ceiling or something. Oh. It was, yeah, it's too, it's too bad. <laughs> it's too <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because the, the whole I did idea like the design is, of it. Yeah, the, the whole idea and the design is is, is pretty cool. Like. Okay, back to the roots. Uh, one uh, xenomorph and and a lot of people trapped inside with it. Um, but yeah, the the disconnect I had as a kid instantly fucked all that up. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I like that. At least it got across the idea that the the xenomorph adapted to the to, to the host. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it was cool something idea. that you know it, that never occurred to me before, and I think it was it was nice that they picked on that. Yeah, because I, sorry, Steve. No, go ahead. Uh, did uh, any of you guys uh, own or see the toy line 
uh, afterwards. Mm -mm. They went all out. Like uh, a bull with horns, uh, a, a snake, uh, xenomorph, everything mm. was like, that wasn't in the movie. That would have been cool. But they went all out. A uh, uh, xenomorph with wings. <laughs> oh. A so. snake xenomorph, you know, that would be interesting. Oh, that I, I really wanted that one, but it was uh, sold out so so fast. Uh, I mean, and it had nothing to do with the movie. It was just advertised like Aliens Three. This is the toy line. I'm like, <laughs> as a kid, that was <laughs> awesome. Yeah, the uh, and because the, they describe it as eight being eight feet tall, and then and some of those scenes it looks really big and imposing, and then in the special effects it looks small. Yeah. Um. More so like that's another thing than that. a xenomorph. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. This is, yeah. It, it's, you, can, you can tell the movie is kind of a mess. Even the direct, even the assembly cut is kind, yeah. of, a me kind of messy. You can tell that it was, it's just very uneven. Um, one of the problems I had on a rewatch is I didn't really care about any of the prisoners very much. I wasn't really invested in many of them. I think the only one's Dylan that kind of has some kind of personality. The rest just... They look angry and, uh, you know, but I, I wasn't too invested in any of them. And I, I did like the, I forget his name, the, the, the prisoner who becomes obsessed with, in the assembly cup, becomes obsessed with the Golic. alien and lets it out after they trap it. Golic. Yeah. Um, I did like, I did like that, but at the end it's like, it was at all just because he was going to let it, let it out. And that's just going to. Let, no, he he gets felt, killed he immediately felt after. like he was was connected to it on a on a more um, animalistic level. Uh, he was he was like I, I'm a predator. That's a predator. Where we're predators together, and he, he felt something like that. That's what I imagine um, went on in his brain. Yeah, I, I think they, like they were trying. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. No. You're trying. Uh, last episode, we were trying. Uh, we talked a little bit about um, monsters um, in the previous episodes. What makes a monster and what? I think they were going for. Okay, here's uh, a colony of monsters, of of predators. Mm. Um, again, the sexual undertones are right there in your face the whole time, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so to try to to justify. It, and in that regard, it also failed. I, I, I can see what they were going for, but if that was the intention, like for example, even like Pitch Black did it better, for example, it uh, hmm. uh, was too too obvious. Uh, yeah. One monster, a couple of human monsters, probably would have been enough. Yeah, I guess they kind of did that with the aliens too, right? With the Marines, kind of the, um, you know, these, uh, these, um, you know, soldiers or their, um, their trained killers and they mm -hmm. go up against the aliens who are, uh, you know, like a natural predator. Um, mm -hmm. so I, I guess it's kind of the same, but without any weapons, the prisoners don't really stand a chance. <laughs> they don't really have a chance against the alien because they yeah. just can run away from it. I mean, they can't really fight it. Uh, but how, it, how do you feel empathy for for people who who are rapists and and uh, murderers uh, that are stuck with a beast like that? That are, you're like, it's it's a it's a tough one to to solve uh, plot wise, movie wise. I mean, uh, I can see Dylan like one of the characters because he he was trying to to make something better out, out of every situation he was in, um, and yeah that. Even the doctor was like, oh, I'm just doing my job, man. I'm just here. Uh, yeah, the the whole uh, story um, is a, a shambles, as you said, because mm -hmm. uh, they, they didn't really know until they started filming, I think, uh, what it was going to be about. Like they had concept art and everything. Even so, I don't know. Uh, did you play the video games by any chance? It's the first one that had a video games. No. Uh, so Alien 3 has uh, uh, a SNES game, an Amiga game, a Game Boy game. Uh, uh, and the only thing they did was they gave it characters, like 
these characters that are going to be in that movie um well with ripley obviously uh, and this is the setting it's going to be in a, a prison uh, or some sort and that's all they gave them so the video games are totally different they're like oh maybe it's like aliens it's like the second one okay so we give them weapons and and uh there are going to be lots of xenomorphs and and everything and the games came out i think around the same time and they were like this has nothing to do with the movie whatsoever so the plot was in shambles they didn't know anything like what what is going on and yeah you feel that in both cuts <laughs> Yeah, I think the original or one of the the versions that they they tried they started producing was the wooden planet with monks, mm. which uh, I think they they were trying to make that work, and then they they started to kind of nitpick. Well, how how is a wooden planet like? How does that work? Like, how does it float in space and they survive on it? So then they changed it to the prison planet, but they were they were just every day was they were adding they were changing and adding things every day to the yeah. script that Love Fincher that. was just on the fly changing things and uh, so yeah it's, it's it's kind of a mess but i i i can kind of see the whole you know can you find redemption can these people who are awful who've done terrible things can they find redemption can they do mm -hmm. something can, they're on this planet in the middle of space and the ass end of space like ripley says can they find redemption can they do something with their lives or um i guess are they just there to rot yeah, because I do care. By the end of the movie, they're they're uh, working together, trying to get it to the what is it, the ovens or, or the, the metalworks uh, to to burn it. And that that whole setup, you're like you're rooting for them. So they pull it off for me, at least in in, in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it wasn't a complete fail. I remember the, there's one scene. Um, I think uh, Ripley. Um, and the guy who instigated, who tried to rape her in, in the beginning, and they're kind of working together, or he, she helps him. And th there, there is, there was a moment there of kind of, mm. I don't say forgiveness, but you know, peace, you know, truth between them, and the, just that there were bigger things at stake, and you have to, you know, get it over with and try to survive. That, that was more important. Yeah. Uh, it is. It's not a bad message. I mean, not everyone there was a rapist. Um, Clemens no. was uh, was a very jaded but fairly nice guy, you know. And, and uh, who knows what reasons some of them would have to murder whoever they murder. We don't actually know a lot of the backstory, even though there's some mm. awful individuals there, but we don't know each one's story. And everyone was still trying to do their best, not just for themselves, but in the end, they were trying to help each other and everyone made sacrifices. And yeah, it's, uh, it's hopeful. It was not that you know. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, so speaking of Clemens, I wasn't a big fan of the romance there. I think it would have been fine just to have a friendship. I don't know if it needed a. On one, so I'm I'm a little bit torn because on one hand, you can see Ripley's Ripley's uh, progression, right? Because she starts off in Alien as this kind of soft-spoken. I think she's by, very like by the book, trying to do the right things. In Aliens, she becomes something different. She becomes more of a like a mother uh, soldier. Um, she becomes more aggressive. She feels you know she's. She uh, does all the things she does in Aliens, so that she changes again. And in, in this movie, she seems very assertive, very um, forward, very because at this point, it's like, of course, she would be because of all the things that's happened. But so I kind of get that she's just kind of like, it's been a long time. Like, you know, are we going to do this or what? Because you know, so I kind of, I kind of like that. But at the same time, it just, it just felt like this could, would it have been better just for them to be? friends like just for them to be like hey i'm in this really bad situation and i'm looking out for you but did they need a romance did it did it need that part of it um and not just it a friendship it wasn't a romance it was a distraction um she I deliberately <laughs> tried to distract him and you know i guess herself but it, she she was trying she she seduced him um 
not for the sake of the romance, but for the sake of trying to gain his trust and not having to open up and mm. explain their situation. It, it was a distraction. Mm. Yeah. Women can be like that mm. sometimes. I didn't think of it that way. I was thinking more like I said like it was very solitude. clever, very well done. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I was she that she she was heartbroken when the the girl died uh, and especially if she, uh, when she's standing at the table when they're operating on her just to see if she um was was uh, carrying something uh and you can see like she 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 lost a lot again she she keeps on losing she lost her crew members she lost uh, all the all the people she was with on the on the trip, even though she didn't like them in the beginning, uh, in the end, you know, game over, man, game over. Uh, like, you got to know these people, and she got to know these people, and yeah, I mean, for her, everything is is going by so fast, and and yeah, for there, me, it was a very, yeah. a very powerful mm -hmm. line at the end when she says, you know this thing has been a part of my life for so long, I can't remember anything else. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that, that says it all. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And if, coming back to the kid when uh, they break open her chest, I hated that scene. Like, I was so disgusted by that because I am uh, high sensitive to uh, noises, touches, whatever, but the noise that that makes is so disgusting that i was like oh my i i felt it like oh god that was so <laughs> that that, that well was done. something as a kid <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was uh disgusting yeah the 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 sounds in that scene are just i i think it's the sounds make it worse i think than it would yeah. actually seeing it because then you fill in the blanks yeah yeah. Your imagination goes wild, and that wasn't a good scene for me <laughs> when I was younger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't, but I, I hadn't thought of that about Ripley doing, you know, seducing Clemens to just just be a distraction or to to kind of win his favor. But it makes mm -hmm. sense. I didn't think of it that way. Mm -hmm. And he knew he got on to it. That that was uh, that was interesting too. And we need that whole setup for the next movie. I mean, come on. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll talk about that. I'm, I'm, Another that's brilliant interesting line. one for sure. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah it, it's um, an interesting character progression um, as a woman. Um, she started, you know... Oh, not feminine at all, you know, completely mm. almost asexual. And then we see that side of her that she's a mother. And uh, I, I love, I said this in my previous episode, I really love the, the romance between her and Hicks, how it developed, even though it was very subtle. And then you see her as a seductress, even though, you know, with, with the shaved head and everything, you know, fair balls. Um, and then Alien 4, it escalates. So I was like, well, no, it's a bit too far. Um, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was important to, to see her more as a woman, especially with the choice of having her shaving her hair. Uh, mm -hmm. It's something that it's very dear to me because I, I, uh, I had to shave my head. Uh, about a year ago, and I'm still losing. I probably mm. won't have to shave it again. It was something that I had to live with and adapt. Because um, for a long time, I was saying, I said, well, no, I'm going to lose my femininity. You know, this is like death. Mm. Mm. Um, and to, to overcome that. And briefly, um, Sigourney Weaver, again, she was, she was always one of my idols um, as an actress in all the roles. And I figured, well, if I if I look half as good as as she did, um, you'll, I'll 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 be okay. I'll be fine. You know. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver yeah. is a beautiful woman. I, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I figured that we have you know same height, similar skin tone, <laughs> and and uh, air color. Same height. She's a tall one, isn't she? 
Uh, yeah, according to ESPN, it's about the same height. Yeah. Yeah, one meter eighty-two. That she's a tall one. No, I have so in this yeah, case she, I have. Yeah, I think a it's bit, a bit less. <laughs> I think the she had a big bonus for that too to shave her head, to wow. to do that. Uh, but yeah, I think the I think the shaved head look is pretty neat. Mm-hmm. But. Mm-hmm. She she wore it like a crown. And it's you know. yeah. Uh, I, and, I remember and, thinking at the time, I hope she got paid a lot. <laughs> <Just yeah. laughs> that was my idea. I, see, I would never do that. Thirty years later, mm. well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, coming coming back to the mother uh, idea, uh, technically in the movie in the th- theatrical cut, she is because she's she's bearing the queen uh, in that in that version. So it's it it sticks with the uh, the theme, if if you can look at it that way, of course. Mm-hmm. And I hated that they removed it from the uh, from the other cut that she just jumps and. I was like, I mean, yeah. it made so much sense. The fact that the xenomorph didn't attack her, the the fact that all these things it was like. At a certain point, she was like, "Huh? Now I know. I know this is inside me. I know something is wrong." Yeah. Yeah, that, I think. And I don't me, know. I never that, put that together. But yeah. I'm sorry, Susanna. Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying that for me that that was. Um, that's why I said in the beginning that I prefer the the beginning and the, and the end of the theatrical version because of the dog and then the end because of that scene. I, I, I thought it was almost cruel that after everything she's been through, um, yeah. now she's faced with that. <laughs> she's put in that situation where if she doesn't sacrifice herself, she's just going to be giving birth to another queen and I really like towards the end when when the birth out and she has the awareness to say no no you don't you're not you're coming with me yeah and it was a perfect ending um, for the series as a whole I think still saying it was me I guess the queen could have carried an egg or carried eggs out of the out of the hive at the end of aliens and we're just thinking about that now I guess they could have it could have carried eggs onto the ship Hmm. No. I think that's one of the theories I've heard somewhere through the years, but um so I I do like that Ripley dies at the end. I do like that completes her arc and I think Sigourney Weaver pushed hard for that. I think that's why she agreed from what I've read is that that's why she agreed to come back and do it cuz she wanted to end Ripley's uh journey, but then of course Alien 4 happens. We'll talk about it later, but um but I I do think the so I think there's an emphasis put on I have to kill myself because I have to end this. I have to end the, I have to make sure that they can't, the aliens can't ever exist again, but the ship in on LV-426 is a derelict ship that's still out. They're still out there. So she's just ending this iteration of them, not all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if the company is as powerful and, and influential as it seems like they are, you think that they would try and figure out like where did the ship come from? Uh, powerful and influential doesn't mean smart. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's another. <laughs> that's more commentary on, on you know, mm-hmm. yeah, red tape and yeah, but yeah, but that's th- those are the things that I try not to think about it because <laughs> otherwise uh, things start falling apart. But once again, why go to the trouble? of sending, you know, Bishop or Bishop's creator, whoever there to convince her. Just again, there's a whole ship <laughs> with eggs somewhere. Unless, well, I guess we don't know if the explosion at the end of Aliens if might have destroyed the ship. Actually, we don't know that. Um, but yeah, once again, what why go just doing the things it's it's the same with most villains, being companies or individuals. They always seem to go about doing their evil deeds in the most convoluted, the most difficult way. <laughs> and I guess it's part of storytelling. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm trying to think about it too, but it's still <laughs> one of those things. It's they're still out there, and, and I think we'll discuss that more in uh, next week with the, with resurrection. But yeah, it seems like a lot of trouble when we know that the ship could still be on LV426. I guess it's implied it gets destroyed because of the blast. Mm. But there's still who knows how many out there. Yeah. I don't know. Is, is someone going up, or is that me? I, I, I a little hear... bit, a little bit of background, but yeah, okay. uh, it's probably me. <laughs> no, the, the the fan is inside. Ah, muted. yeah. Oh, That's oh, why gotcha. I'm hearing the fan. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, so but I I did I did like the, you know, that Ripley that dies at the end. The mm. the whole Bishop thing. It seems like we really want to get this actor back. We really really want a familiar face. Because how how would he still be alive? And is I was always confused because it looks like his ear is coming off at the end after he gets hit. Is he a, is he an android or is he a person? Because it looks he's like he's android. bleeding blood. It, it but looks I wasn't like sure. he's bleeding, but um, I think he's a droid because in in the credits he, he's listed as Bishop Two. Hmm. <laughs> really, I didn't I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Like, not hmm. not bishops architect or creator no bishop okay so i guess no. there's your answer um uh, let me see but who's the first bishop again like uh in the first movie the droid ash, right no no uh no it's not ash sorry is 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 the droid in the first movie also um it's been a no, while ash is it's different the the droid in alien yeah. is ash different yeah, model ash, yeah different model okay don't ask me what model I forgot that has. Yeah. It's been a while. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the whole from from now on, we're going to use Bishop as, as a model, uh, even in the spin off. Uh, what, what was it? Uh, Alien versus uh, Predator. It's it's weird. I did not see that. One. I, uh, I skipped don't. it. <laughs> don't. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Just don't. <laughs> so yeah, I was just looking up the um, this. So that looks at like the early script has it as once he gets hit in the head, there's no wires, no milk, real blood, mm -hmm. and then he dies. But in the in the later version of the script, it it says the same thing, but he doesn't die from the wound. So it if he doesn't die, know. then he's probably a robot. Yeah. So interesting, but yeah, I was, I think that's kind of, I would have rather kind of known whether that's really the real, the first version and mm. I don't know, this, yeah. this, this, uh, this film, I think I, I'd always enjoyed it, but looking at it with a more critical eye to come and talk about it, it's, it's, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> right? Yeah. But this is the start of the mess. This is the start of inconsistencies in the Alien franchise. From this movie onward, we're going to have issues. Yeah. I, I see it the other way around. I think I, I hmm. said in the, in the forum that Alien, for me, it's, it's three separate things. You know, there's the trilogy that ends here. Hmm. Then uh, a spin-off, Alien 4. It's kind of like inspired by and uh, and, fan and fiction, fan fiction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's the only way that i can make sense uh, of things for me it stops at two so <laughs> it's just a duology hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 i i really so like this one now but it, it took me a long time to appreciate it for what it is because this one has yeah. the most if if you look at the the uh, the rooms, for example, like every shot is is uh, with with um, uh, curves and stuff, more like the uh, the original artwork of um, what is his name again? Uh, the guy who invented the the whole uh... Geiger. Yeah, Geiger. Yeah. So most of the settings look more like Geiger-ish things than than the other two movies, uh, except for the spaceship they find. Yeah, yeah, I was going. To yeah, and of course the height, obviously, obviously, but but I mean, hmm. 
And you do see Fincher's uh, kind of his his eye for scenes and for colors and for setup and camera angles. You do see things that he uses now in his more recent movies or past movies that you can kind of see that um, development of style. And so that was kind of neat too to see some really great scenes with like angles and lighting. Really, there's some really really good scenes in it that you can see that he his his director's eye at work mm. 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 I mean, he's, he's very good to just working with the with not a lot of color or light and it just mm-hmm. really makes the most of it yeah because after after alien 3 i see that it's uh seven like in movie. seven oh yeah. wow uh, the rest was uh, videos for for music, I think. Yeah, and then the game, and then Fight Club. Great movie. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I love that movie. Um, so, and he he's only I think he just recently even acknowledged that he worked on it. I think for a long time he refused to talk about it, mm. but I think he very tepidly mentioned it i think like he admitted that he he was there because of such a bad experience uh, it must have been really bad to wait 30 years to even speak about the movie which is really sad because it without interference you wonder what this would have been like what yeah. mm-hmm. what this would have developed into how different it would have been if he would have just been left alone and mm-hmm. let him you know tell the story yeah it could have been the pinnacle of the series like this is the top and now we quit yeah no, it, oh, you, you can the see all the potential is there. All the elements are there. It was just, I, I guess, yeah, too many people, too many opinions, uh, trying yeah. to please everyone and ended up being a mess. Because the potential was yeah. there. And the actors were good. And they did an amazing job. It's just, yeah, yeah somewhere along the line, It, it, it was done at a time where everyone... Now we have different issues, but at the time, I think the thing was trying to make the, the movies shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, hmm. So all that scene about when uh, when they captured the alien, uh, I'm sure someone was like, why do we need this if you're just going to get free again? You know, just, just skip right up to, to the chase. And it was important so you could see everyone working together and accomplishing mm-hmm. something, and then, and then, oh, it was all for nothing. What are you going to do now? That that is that roller coaster is important, but at the time it was all about you now getting to the ending, getting to the goal. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that was heartbreaking. Not, not now kidding. it's the opposite problem. Now every movie they want every movie to be two and a half, three hours long. And so just, now it's, it's funny how that's changed. True. <laughs> nah, it, it directors want it to be that long. Most people don't watch uh, movies that are longer than uh, ninety minutes anymore. Not a lot of the Marvel movies were two and a half hours. It made lots of money. Yeah, because it's Marvel. It's uh... <laughs> mm-hmm. not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours. Is, yeah, yeah. Three hours is fine as long as it's you know, fight scene after fight scene after fight scene and explosion after explosion. Cameo after cameo after cameo. <laughs> well, I mean, even like Oppenheimer is what, like three hours long? That's, yeah, cameo after that's a cameo. Long one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. it would have done better, as in more people. I, 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 I would just, I, I still need to see it. Uh, and I agree, three hours, three hours, and I, I don't care. It's fine. I, if it's a great movie, it's going to be amazing. But the attention span of most people just isn't there anymore Oppenheimer no. would have been even uh, more uh, more of a success if it was shorter even though that we would have been like oh god it's it's so short but more people would have watched it it's weird mm. so it would have been worse but it would have made more money it's, it's a weird combination mm. Yeah, it's it a it's a balancing act, right? But yeah, they have to get Matt Damon in there, and they have to get all the different cameos. So it takes time. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I, I look, I'm looking forward to owning that one on the 4K, but yeah, we'll have to wait. Yeah. They, they, uh, they even stopped making the, the Alien franchise in, in 4K. Hmm. They only made the what? first one because of the rights. I think there was an issue between uh, uh, 20th Century Fox and uh, uh, Disney. And then um, they own it now. And they just, Disney doesn't produce uh, uh, Blu rays anymore uh, or almost uh, nothing anymore. So uh, they're, they're going all digital uh, like, like uh, the rest of us, Netflix and stuff. <laughs> But the first movie you can buy in 4K and then uh, Prometheus and... Um, Covenant. Covenant, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. I, I've i been buying a lot of DVDs the past few months. Um, if I even in like second hands, very cheap, because I, I don't Everybody trust... Everybody needs to do every that. For, for a long time, taking... I was like, oh, this streaming is great. It's so convenient. But then I realized I couldn't find the stuff that I liked. So yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm hoarding And they're taking again. everything away from you. They're taking mm -hmm. everything away from you. Yeah. yeah. Not to get up on too much of a tangent, but you you don't own anything. You, yeah. know, you pay for mm -hmm. the service, but you don't own anything. So exactly. the minute they take something off, the, the service shuts down, you lose access to it. And if you buy the digital mm. version and you don't you know you they could take it away at any time yeah so you don't really own it yep so yeah i wish i wish this trilogy got the complete 4k release uh, i mean they're they're all worth it in their own right uh, just uh, the xenomorph in the uh, in the third movie <laughs> could be touched up a bit i mean come on after the fact, more 3D, 3D, let's do this. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's, especially with the current state of the franchise, if there's enough, um, there's enough demand for it now. I think everyone's, hopefully the, the new series that they're starting or they're filming will be good, but I think the franchise could use a little bit of time just to rest. Well, I, I hope they finish the trilogy, the... Prometheus Covenant and then whatever oh, that's their, a, the last I, I thought that was separate movies just separate movies because they do not overlap at all I mean the ending of the first one and <laughs> well, I'm hoping that's another I'm debate. hoping they yeah I'm hoping, hope, I'm <laughs> yeah, hoping yeah. they'll finish that and 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 the next movie connect that to the first part of Alien but I'm not sure if we'll ever get that or not mm. which is I don't know do, do we really want that I don't know if we want that or not yeah I am I am kind of psyching myself to, to rewatch them again. Um, yeah, that's, that's why I joined these discussions because I haven't watched the last one. I, I kind of give up, you know, but I'm, I need to watch them with, with fresh Co eyes and Covenant. see if I can understand what the hell's going on or why, why, why have you done that? Is, is closer to the third one as in like you're, you're going to like it more uh, except for a couple of scenes that are why why are they there but covenant isn't that bad as people made it out to be prometheus is is yeah a mess <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah great title yes uh, that's it <laughs> yeah. the uh, i think covenant uh, Joshua to your point i think covenant and alien 3 they're both better when, when you just go in without any expectations and just enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. Just, yeah. Definitely. I think when I, when I watched it, when I watched Covenant in the theater and I had expectations, I was really disappointed. But when I watched it again, I just went in, just forget all the stuff I wanted to happen or all the things I expected to happen and just enjoy it. It was a lot more enjoyable just to, yeah. just take it in. Indeed. Exactly. Just, just one scene, just cut one scene. <laughs> the flute one. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get I there. You, I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, happy. you'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. I'm sure. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Is the, uh, is this one like if if you recommend the series to people, would you say you have to watch the third one or? 
Yes. I, 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 yes. Both yes. Okay. Assembly cut. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Don't watch. I think that other than the very last scene of the xenomorph, of xenomorph popping out of Ripley, I think, I think everything else I prefer in the assembly cut, except for that. Um, so I, I always tell people, if you're watching this, the series, watch the assembly cut. It's the better version yeah. of, the, of the movie, but yeah i, I always I tell you watch both too. <laughs> <laughs> but yes i mean it 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 peaked at aliens aliens I, uh, it's one of my favorite movies of all time and i think it's it's mm. near perfect um yeah and then it was such a disappointment especially at the time like i said i i remember going to the cinema and watching i was so excited you know and I was, what the hell <laughs> it was one of my you know first uh, movie disappointments as a, uh, I I got very cricked <laughs> even even back then um, yeah but yeah it's still part of the trilogy and I, I think at the very end when you look at it as a as three individual pieces of a story um, it still makes sense and you follow that character through and for me it's uh, it's not alien for me it's it's more Ripley's story uh, yeah, right. yeah, definitely. And in that case, yeah. it makes sense. She yeah. is the star, and, and and you keep on watching for her. Mm -hmm. for, I do. Sorry, Steve. Oh no, I was just gonna agree. I think it is. I think it is more Ripley's story than about the alien. So mm -hmm. at the end, I think it's more about her and her character. Which is why I'm really, which is why why I'm really disappointed they made a fourth one because it. <laughs> I have but I'm, the ideas I'm, I'm, I'm were like, so good. I'm dreading rewatching that thing for next week. I'm. It's gonna be tough. I'm, <laughs> it's I'm, gonna I'm, be tough. I hope I can be here uh, uh, because I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you a, a little dirty secret. Um, I loved that movie as a kid. Mm. That that is that is a guilty pleasure for me. Like, it had the action that I was lacking in number three, <laughs> for sure. And if you don't look at the the story at all or the characters, just like I want gore, I want my xenomorphs. There you go. Well, it, I'll yeah. confess that I enjoyed some aspects of it. I will get to that when, I, but it yeah. didn't feel like aliens. It felt like something alien inspired. Yeah. And uh, I really, really hated Ripley's character in that movie. It was such a disappointment. It was like, oh, I'm not my Ripley. Um, so once I got over that and appreciated it as an action movie, there are pretty, pretty awesome scenes. So I don't know. I might, now I'm here thinking, because I have the, the box set with um, Quadrology. Quadrology? Yeah, yeah. I don't know which Anthology, And yeah. uh, if I had to put them in order, and I, if I'm being honest to myself, I think I'll probably, if I if I don't see them as a quadrology, I see them as a trilogy and a spin-off. But if I had to pick one from the or to organize the four, let's put it this way, Alien Three would come last. I think I would still put Alien Four first as a movie hmm. because as a movie, I think it is better. Alien Three, unfortunately, has a potential that it's such a mess. Yeah. And that's hmm. sad. As a kid, I would have said Aliens and then Alien 4, Resurrection, <laughs> and then 1 <laughs> and then 3. But now it's... it's. I think it's going to be Aliens, Alien, Alien 3, and then Resurrection. Because Aliens hmm. just keeps coming back in my mind. I really love the first one. It's It's the better movie it's the best movie of all the movies and still i'm like yeah it's it's like terminator i mean there's only terminator 2 there's no other terminator there's only two there's only <laughs> judgment day steve <laughs> you disagree i'm a bad person i, I, <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's, it's more an age thing it was i i'm the same Ter, for me Ter, terminator is terminator 2 because it was the one mm. that I watched first, and I watched at a time where those sort of movies were, you know, the delight of, of uh, an eight, ten year old. And then mm. one felt like a disappointment in comparison. 
I do appreciate that one is a better movie, but two is a lot more entertaining. Yeah. 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 Another discussion <laughs> entirely. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's kind of, I kind of feel like the Terminator series, is similar to how I feel about Alien, the Alien franchise, is that when I was younger, I really liked the Alien. I br- much more preferred Aliens and T2. But as I get older, rewatching them, I, I really appreciate Alien for how, like, for what it did at the time and, and all the things, all the chances it took and the visuals yeah. and the characters and everything. So, and, and plus with, uh, you know, with Term- same thing with Terminator, I, I look at it. Um, differently now as I get older. So looking back, it's T two especially is more of like a spectacle. Like, but it's not bad. I just prefer Terminator. But yeah. I love you prefer better. Schwarzenegger having no lines and going like <laughs> <laughs> just w- watching the sides. I know, I know. I'm, I'm making fun of it. I know. Yeah, no, it's it's a uh, you know Arnold. Arnold yeah, yeah. He, uh, the the first one, like like in Aliens, uh, Alien, atmosphere, atmosphere and story. It, it's the beginning. It sets everything up, and if if it works, it works. It's amazing. It's yeah. But if a second one one can be better, I mean, how how many movies, the second one. How many movies where the second one is better? How, how many movies can you can you name that you're like, oh man, second one was like. Apart from those two, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Not Empire. directed by. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that that doesn't count. That's movie number five, lady. Uh, I mean. <laughs> well, no, it counts as a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah, I still get those con- those little numbers confused. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. there, there was no need. <clears throat> no need. No. Other than a cash and checks, but that was it. Yeah. But that's a whole other thing. <laughs> but but uh, any anything else you guys can think of with Alien Three? Think. Um, how would you? What, what would you kind of rate this one? Um, rewatching it now. In what scale? Uh, one to ten. As a um, movie, yeah. Well, it depends. If if Aliens was ten, mm. I would probably be like a five. But as a mm. movie, I would probably give it like a six and a half. So mm. it, it, that, was, that is the thinking... same because we can't help. I can't help compare it to what came before. To to alien yeah. and aliens. If I'm just comparing to other group, uh, other movies in the same genre, it's 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 good. It's a good movie. It's a fairly decent movie, despite all the mm. inconsistencies. But compared with, yeah, it's a tough one. I would have gone seven, six and a half, seven. Uh, l- less quotable, but it has decent atmosphere and and definitely decent acting i mean great acting it's just yeah it's it's the story is not as cohesive as uh, the other ones before <laughs> not after <laughs> what about you steve yeah i think we're all about the same i think it's this is a, a six um i think i liked it less on this rewatch i i used to enjoy it more but i think kind of looking at it critically it just kind of I don't know. There's a lot. I noticed a lot of problems with it that I didn't notice before. So, while I still enjoyed it, still it's kind of just really messy. It mm-hmm. just seems really um, like a like a disaster, you know, which is really sad. Yeah. It's too bad. What could have been? But, yeah. But anyway, so cool. Um, yeah. So we'll do uh, if you guys are available, resurrection next week, and I'm dreading that. But um, I'm hoping we'll I will be goes. available. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've, I've heard the, the case. Two. I hope you make it. I've, I've heard the case for the for, for for people who really like Resurrection. I, I get that some. I get why some people like it, but it's just it's just like like you. It's just like a like fan fiction and like a spinoff. I'm I'm scared 
if I rewatch it, that it's going to be the same as Alien Three. Like, oh, the CGI is so bad. Even though my 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 brain at the time as a kid, it was like, oh, this is amazing because it was better than Alien Three for CGI. So I'm I'm hoping that it still holds up, but I'm dreading it. Yeah. Me too. I, I, I haven't watched that one in over 10 years. So it, it's going to be an interesting experience. <sighs> the sigh <laughs> of something that needs to be done. That's yeah. going to be rough. Yeah. It's going to be rough. But um, cool. So thanks both of you for, for coming. Uh, Joshua, where can people find you if they want to connect with you and tell you how wrong you are about T2? That's that's fine. Um, I'm at the page chewing uh, forums. <laughs> Just uh, yell at me all you want. It's fine. I'll take it. Yes. And uh, Susanna. You can also find me um, on the page chewing forums, ranting about pretty much anything, or on X, Twitter X, as Chronodendrum. Uh, yeah. Just again. <laughs> wasting time um, not that I'm wasting time <laughs> face chewing I'm wasting time on Twitter I'm, I'm, I, I love my time <laughs> this came out so wrong <laughs> yes or on YouTube then of the weird yes. yeah. so yeah. no I know I knew what you meant <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the the doom scroll is a real thing just oh, like, yes uh, it's been bad lately yeah. <laughs> that's why I was I was thinking yeah. about all the time wasted <laughs> Yeah. All right. It's so yeah, it's bad. But awesome. So we'll do uh, resurrection next week and it'll be fun. It'll be fun. See you then. So. Bye. See you then. Thanks everybody. <laughs>